Hi there. Today, I want to show you how you can use Formaloo in your operations team to bring all your data together and create and standardize your workflows and hit ambitious business goals. So uh, you can use Formaloo to orchestrate your business processes, connect what's happening across your teams and uh, make your team on board. So um, you can use Formaloo to visualize your most important data into one place. You can use the presentation mode and um, create charts and diagrams based on your data, collect data in, uh, inside uh, forms, uh, forms format or uh, surveys or other formats. Uh, to collect your data, integrate your data into one place. You can use uh, many data sources, including your website, your mobile applications, etc., or or your forms uh, to collect your data and put it into one place inside Formaloo CDP and um, unify uh, your data. So you can uh, have a single view of your data, a single view of your audience and understand it much, much better and keep your team aligned as your work changes. So to get started, I will create a folder uh, named operations. You can change its color as you like. And uh, right here, um, you can uh, create folders inside folders or forms inside fo uh, folders, and you can manage access to each of them uh, based on your requirements. I'll create a form inside my folder. Um, you can start from scratch or use the templates. I'll uh, cl click on the blank form, click create a multi-step form. Uh, you have to add a title for each of your forms because you need to know which one is it is but you can hide it inside your form. Uh, on the appearance tab, there are many options. One of them is to hide the title. And um, so I will name it uh, apply as a vendor, for example. Uh, and uh, here I will add a text field, name it um, your name or your full name, add a phone number, and email, you can make each of them required or uh, not required, make your phone number unique. Uh, maybe you want each person to um, submit your phone only once, you can uh, turn it to a unique uh, format. And this is how it works. You can change the submit button text, change the success message after submit. And uh, yeah, it's that easy. You can uh, use any other field types you want. Mm, but uh, for the example of today, I'll um, get to this part. Uh, it's just a simple form. You can change its appearance on the appearance tab. Um, there are many options. You can choose different uh, color uh, templates or choose uh, change the colors based on your need and or your branding. And when you save it, and I refresh your form, it changes uh, based on your change, uh, what you've changed in your form builder. And let's submit, um, let's say it's, um, what is the number? I thought it's an email. And it's submitted. And when I get back to my, um, dashboard uh, and click on my form. You see, I have one response and here is my response and you can see it like this. Uh, you can also use your form uh, inside your website, for example, here uh, in the view code and widgets, you can uh, select the iframe for mode, script mode, or uh, just a link, or you can use a widget. Uh, it's like a chat box. Right here, you can change this design, make it side widget, full width widget, which is like this. And single step is uh, shows all the fields in one place. So um, yeah, you can change it and uh, then click on the get code and it gives you the code uh, that um, has uh, uh, shows uh, your widget like this. And you can copy and paste it into your website and it will work that easy. So, um, yeah, let's get back to um, our dashboard. And here uh, I will create another form. 
uh, let's say a single step form, uh, I want to um, choose vendor types uh, because maybe I have many vendor types in my business and um, I want to create them once and let the users select from them. So um, I say vendor types here and uh, maybe add a description for each of them. And uh, I save it and open it right here. So for the vendor types, um, I might have um, many uh, different vendor types. For example, a manufacturer. Um, type a wholesaler. Oh, just um, create them as easily. And let's say, for example, retailer. Yeah. So uh, when I get back to my uh, dashboard, I see that um, my event types form has three responses here, retailer, wholesaler, wholesaler and manufacturer. And um, uh, you can uh, view charts and uh, like that. You can uh, connect it to your, um, for example, Google Sheets or Slack uh, or any other uh, tools you want. So let's get back to um, our folder, our operations folder. Here I want um, to connect this form to this form. So I have vendor types here and uh, I want the applicants of um, being a vendor to choose from my vendors. So I'll select a lookup field and put it um, right here. Um, what type of vendor? Yeah, so this is a lookup field. So uh, it will look up uh, data from another form. So I'll select my form right here. It's a vendor types uh, form. And I want, to, uh, re I I want my field to read uh, the data from the vendor types field. So it's that easy. When you open it up, you will see that um, those data are uh, moved, fetched from that uh, table to here. So I save it. Uh, so you might ask uh, how, uh, how will it be used? Um, for example, you want to give access to um, this folder, uh, this form um, to a specific people, a specific um, um, department in your um, team or um, specific people in your team. So um, you will just easily give access to this. So they can manage only the vendor types form and um, you can uh, give access to other people and on this form so they can uh, manage the applicants, not the vendor types. So um, it's that simple. You will see it right here um, when you get to uh, the vendor types, they are loaded here. Uh, you, they can add also vendor types if you want to um, um, disable it. Um, you, you should just get to your form and uh, disable it right here. And we'll use this to add. Yeah, it's that simple. And um, yeah, uh, I, I told you that you can change the appearance, you can add background to your forms, uh, change the colors, uh, show or hide different fields or ideas. And uh, here you can uh, change the address of your form. And add it to different categories and uh, stuff like that. It's very useful and very easy to use. And um, yeah, it's that simple. If you had any questions, just comment down below and uh, let me know what you think. And if there is any improvement you would like to see in your formal dashboard. So until our, our next video, bye.